One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now raise your hands above your head. Higher, higher. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you latecomers to Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Someone suggested I go to a slim and trim class and I decided to go even further and start one of my own. Here to encourage you beginners is an illustration of what hard work and determination can do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is Mr. Webster, who I'm certain is the envy of all of you. When Mr. Webster first came to me, he weighed nearly 300 pounds. He was sluggish and run down and was the object of ridicule because of his obesity. Furthermore, his wife had threatened to walk out on him. Now all that has changed for the better. He has his old energy back, he's quite popular socially, and his wife has left him. He also has a pleasant job modeling in the anatomy department of one of our largest universities and in evenings is end man in a minstrel show and now ladies and gentlemen a special low calorie story however first for those of you who aren't dieting we have this bit of treat honey i know but what are we going to do the bank called and they won't extend the loan i know the oil's down there been drilling through shale for a week. It's got to be any day now. I know we're sitting on the biggest strike we've ever seen. If we can just hang on, it'll be worth it. Well, I'm just going to keep drilling. I've got 200 foot of pipe left, and we'll just go until we run out. I know what this has put you and the boys through. Maybe it was a mistake. Joey wants to go to engineering school, and Mike wants that farm. And what about Tom? He's counting on us being partners. I know, and I appreciate it. You're the best. Well, I better go catch up with the boys at the rig. Yeah, me too. See you. Uh, Ten bucks says we're 100 feet away. I say we're less than 30. Next week when this thing comes in, I'm in Mexico. Better back in college, boys. The semester doesn't start for a couple months. Hey, we got a high roller here. Come on, guys, give me a break. Coming through a little early this month, huh? Hey, check the radiator. It's running hot. Yeah. You know that uh, a blender that you sold my wife? That thing blew up, and we're still scraping guacamole off the ceiling. Okay, get all the parts, put them in a little box, okay? We'll send it off to Hong Kong. Okay. I'll give you the address on the way out. Ed Fratus, king of the highway here. Good for you. Throne rings right on down the hall. I like your sense of humor, but I wasn't kidding around. That road is my kingdom. I cut my teeth on a steering wheel. Where are you from? Just outside of Tulsa. You come here alone? 
My husband works out in the oil fields. Another rough neck. Just what we need. <laughs> hey, yeah. What's this? That's an electric egg scrambler. Complete with a battery and a battery charger. Eight bucks special for you. I like it. I'll buy it. <laughs> Go ahead. It's all yours. Hey, Tom, Joey, you guys getting hungry? Yeah. Me too. Sure could use a steak sandwich about now. Hey, Pop, how about lunch? Get to buying off that paperwork for a change. All right, all right. Give me a few more minutes and we'll go into town. Okay. Always trying to work us a little harder. Give the old man a break. Let's go down there and roust him. Come on, Joey. Okay, okay, I'm unhooked. I'm starting down. You, I'm a married woman. It's a welcoming present. I'll let you pay later. I'll be back in a few weeks. Hey up, boys. Gotta take a shortcut to Corona. Eight bucks stretch. What'd you take? A ruby ring? Twenty-two dollars. Thank you. You got anything in your pocket? See you, boys. Thank you very much. Come on. Keep him straight. Don't twist him. We gotta get him to the hospital right away. Easy. 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 Okay, get him to the front. I'll get the blankets out of the cab. Keep him comfortable. Corn down two cents a bushel. We'll be there in 20 minutes. I'm gonna be all right, Joey. <laughs>
Code Blue. Our emergency personnel. Let pressure any pound pulse one to vital signs. They think you might need right type and cross match in four units staff. Come on, come on, let's go, people. We're losing them. Blood pressure is falling. Pulse 120. Respiration irregular. Interbate them and start another IV. The call inhalation therapy and maintain traction. Come on, people, move it. Scout with four old meds. Plasmate. No time to match. 5% ringer solution. Get me a CVP tray. Come on, people, move it. Sponge, I can't see a damn thing. Nurse Sponge. Yes, sir. Here's the card, doctor. Come on, we're losing him. He's flatlined. Jack, get me some epinephrine. Where's the card? It's too late, doctor. to Hong Kong like you said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it came back. Address unknown, 12 bucks, postage due. I forgot to tell you, they moved the factory. It's in Korea. I'll give you the address on my way out. That'll slice your tomatoes, knock the butter off your cigar, and cook your toenails all at the same time. What the heck is the matter with you guys, huh? Those little holes you've been putting in the ground coming up dry? <laughs> a bunch of deadheads. How can I get some service around? What can I get you here? Well, I'm dying of thirst here. How about a cool one? Your air conditioner broke down? I'm free it. Ah, I ain't getting any action out of these nosebleeds here. Time is money, you know, so I'm gonna head out to Corona. Your hurry. All work and no play. No one says I was a dumb boy. to a bunch of these lost towns. These roofs would be untouched by the stream of global commerce if it wasn't for me. <laughs> well, I guess that's why I find you so exciting, Ed. Could be. Something's the matter. I'm half in the bag already. Yeah. It's real hard. Where's everybody? Back to work. I go and come when I please. I'm gonna go now. Don't let no one park themselves here while I'm gone.
place across the street. They got water beds and mirrors. Why don't you finish your drink first? Sure. Excuse me. What do you want? Is that your 59 caddy out front? Real beauty. Want to take a picture? Five bucks. My son Joey was always crazy about those old cars. He always said, Pop, if we ever bring the well in, the first thing I'm going to do is get me one of those. Of course, that's all in the past now. See, my son Joey died last month. Hog killed him. How could a hog kill a person? Road hog. We had an accident up on the rig. I was driving my boy into the hospital when I came up behind this guy. I tried to pass. He ran me into the ditch. My boy was dying. This guy was playing games. The doctor said if we got my boy to the hospital in time, he would have lived. Joey would have made it. If it wasn't for that fat piece of scum in the pink Cadillac. This? What's in here? Maybe they didn't wash your glass too good. Out of here now. My wife is staying here with me. Give me your son. You poisoned me? You poisoned me? How do you spell it? Just put down heart attack. No, he said something about poison before he died. You know, we pumped the stomach. All we found was a lot of scotch and a couple of aspirin. The guy was in bad shape to begin with. Doesn't take much stress to push him over the edge. Heart attack, huh? That's it? That's it. While we were watching this sad saga, I was doing some thinking. This program might be improved by the use of our special spot reducer. 
I can think of three spots in particular. Here is one of them, after which Mr. Webster and I shall return. Mr. Webster seems to have disappeared again. This is one aspect of his life that is a bit tiresome. You see, the dogs keep carrying him off and burying him. I've had to dig him up at least three times. And now it's time for me to disappear, until next week, that is. I shall be back then with another story. Good night. <laughs>